Hey everybody, it's Flying Ryan here with a review of the JH Transforming Chopper. This is a three channel coaxial helicopter that actually folds up and stores within the, the uh, transmitter. The helicopter will actually fit in this little window here. And uh, it also allows you to store spare parts in here. So you can see there's the spare uh, main rotor blades and then there's a tail prop over here. And there is a spot to store a spare battery. Um, this actually does have access to the battery in the front here. You can flip down the uh, little front part of the helicopter and you can take out the battery to replace it or keep spares. Um, and then the good thing about that is because it, it does use a USB charging cable, it does not charge off the transmitter. So that's the one thing that kind of keeps it from being fully portable is that you can't charge off the transmitter. So you could store an extra battery in there and then you've at least got two batteries uh, worth of flight that you can just carry around and not have to worry about charging. Um, I also did have some problems getting the charge cable to plug in because uh, the plug is right here so you, know, you kind of have to go through the gear or come up around the front and anyway it was just kind of a, a little bit of a pain to plug in uh, but it only takes 30 minutes to charge and you get a good 9 to 10 minutes of flight time so that's pretty impressive. Um, we'll go ahead and fold it up. Or well, first I wanted to say, so you've probably noticed that this looks a lot like what I've got back here. And this is the Air Hogs Heli Cube. And the, it's very similar. The, the Heli Cube is a single rotor two channel uh, where it just uses the tail prop to turn left and right and then it flies forward on its own. Whereas the JH is now coaxial so it uses the coaxial blades to turn left and right and then it has the tail prop to give it forward and backward flight. Uh, so pretty cool. I, I actually really like the Air Hogs Heli Cube, so this was a, a neat upgrade to see it in a three channel coaxial version. Um, and then of course the transmitter is, is much bigger on the JH. The Air Hogs one is pretty small. Um, but the, the transmitter for the JH is pretty nice. The, the bigger size actually makes it fit in my hands pretty well. I can pinch the sticks decently. Uh, the throttle is not spring-loaded, so that's nice. Uh, the weird thing, though, is the trim buttons are on the side here. These are actually your left and right trim, uh, not forward and backward trim, as you, it would appear in this orientation. And then the labels, I don't know if it shows up on the white plastic, but this bottom one is labeled left and the top one is labeled right. But to me, that's backwards. What it actually does is L, if the helicopter is spinning to the left, you hit L and that will trim it to the right. So if it's spinning to the right, you hit right and it trims it to the left. So to me, those labels are backwards. It's actually laid out as if the sticks if the stick was up here above, so this would be your left trim and that's your right trim as you would normally be used to. So that was a little, kind of took my head a while to wrap around that while flying um, and I was constantly giving it wrong trim. Um, but so let's go ahead and uh, we'll transform the helicopter. Um, so it starts with the tail can fold and it actually has another position here where it locks in. You can fly it like that. Um, I didn't notice any flight characteristic change because of that. It didn't seem faster or slower or anything. I think that just, you know, something that just kind of looks cool but doesn't have any actual functional, functional purpose. Uh, but so now you can bend the tail down and it kind of clicks into place. And then you bend this up into the landing gear and the tail prop just kind of sits there and then all the blades bend down and then the fly bar bends down get that in frame there um, there are some little bits and plastic in here that kind of hold it into place so it doesn't fold itself down on purpose which is nice for holding everything in place but I also worry that it's a lot of parts to break uh, so it may not be incredibly durable 
but here it is now all folded up and then you can go ahead and you open your door here and then the helicopter tucks into there and kind of have to work it in a little bit but once you do it should fit in there just fine and then there's also you'll notice that the the thumb pads kind of stick up so if you were to carry this around you'd have those in the way well they actually pull off and then store on the transmitter as well there's little plugs here where you can plug those onto the pegs there and then they store in the transmitter with it and so now you've got a nice flat surface and you basically just got a a nice even square to carry with you throw it in your backpack or what have you and that's everything uh, so yeah I think that's about all there is to say about it so let's uh, go check out some flight footage all right this is the flight review of the JH transforming chopper it flies pretty nice go ahead and take off from the ground there and there we go you see it is really really stable it holds a nice hover pretty well let me try to so there we go i mean that is pretty impressive so you need to get a little bit more throttle good turn stays nice in place both left and right and now let's get some forward flight So this flies quite nice. I mean, especially for being, you know, it's 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 meant to be this transforming chopper, not necessarily a great plane, flying chopper, but it actually flies quite well. So I was really impressed with how well it flies. Pretty fun. And then of course it can go backwards as well. So let me uh, land it and show you that other tail mode it has. See if I can get a nice landing. There we go. And then so there is one other position that this tail will snap into. Where is it? Alright, so let's see what that does. So it doesn't seem to me like it really makes any difference. It doesn't seem any faster or anything. So I think that's just kind of for fun. I don't think there's really any purpose to flying like that. What does it do backwards? I never tried that. Well, it looks like it works just fine backwards too. So I think that's really about all there is to it. I mean, not much to show off. It's just nice and stable. Flies really nice and easy. Let's go ahead and take it in for another landing. Oh, oh, cut the edge. Not so good on the final landing, but oh well. All right, well that's it. That is the JH Transforming Chopper. Folds up and stores inside the transmitter. It's pretty cool. All right, well thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you next time.